is that if anybody t tells you that car's not worth it, what's it doing there? What they're going to do? Just crush it and throw it away? Or a £250,000 car? Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for visiting. Today I'm going to be talking about common misconceptions people have about the salvage industry and about the vehicles. So what I'm going to be basically going over is the most frequent questions people ask me and what I've heard from my experience such as can I get insurance on a salvage vehicle or um, salvage car they're not you can't drive them again or um, things such as can they be repaired is it going to be worth it to repair it but just the common misconceptions and the myths that people have about the salvage industry and why they turned off from it so I'm just going to be going over a few of these points with you guys today so please stay tuned and we'll talk about it together can a vehicle be put back on the road if it's been totaled yes it can be done you there's hundreds and thousands of cars around the world they do it can it be sold let's have a look on eBay these are sold listings so about 37 bids on this Ford S Max this is after it's been repaired and it's been and it's been advertised at the cut end that means non-structural this BMW M4 it's been classed as cut end and in perfect condition after the repair let's have a look on this one this is ended so it's been sold so if you go around have a look at it that's been put back on the road and it's been sold and there was 57 people who are bidded on that car so that's on a smaller scale if we have a look at a car if we could find one there's a Jaguar here here we go there's a 2018 BMW M3 by turbo only 6,000 so if you look at that 31,000 pound 35 bits on it so if you got a misconception of can a salvage car go back on the road well here's the proof not can not only can it go back on the road it can be sold as well so that must have had a damage can't see where it was maybe somewhere in the description but it looks good as it's come out of the showroom there it just shows that it can be sold as well there's the Audi A3 it's definitely 1 million percent you, it can go back on the road that's just a misconception that's just a myth there's a 2018 BMW X5 which is being sold cut in this is on bids by the way that's not to show how many cars sell every day cut in you know so this is just to prove that cars that are being damaged can go back on the road again not only can they go on the road, they can get sold with a profit if you know what you're doing. Can people, first time people go into salvage vehicles? Of course they can. There's no certificate you need or any um, identity. All you need is an account where you need to bid at Copart, HBC or somewhere. Have a good knowledge, use my tips, go buy a good car, know a good body repairer and you'll be fine. So we have a Lamborghini Aventador here 2014. So another myth is is a car salvage car worth it? Some people think that's just junk that's nothing in their own world and can that be repaired? Oh yes, it can be repaired. There's, you know, people who's going to bid on that and win it for like 125000 and then maybe sell it on <clears throat> for a lot more money. So, that's another myth I hear. Like, oh, salvage car, it's not worth it. There's no money in it. Well, is there, if anybody t tells you that car's not worth it, What's it doing there? What they're going to do? Just crush it and throw it away? 
or a two hundred and fifty thousand pound car. No, nobody's going to do that. So, it's <clears throat> if you go and have a look on eBay, how much they go for? Two hundred and thirty-four thousand, two hundred nine thousand. So this is that Avantador. So one hundred eighty-nine thousand, depending on the model. So that car is worth more than a lot of people's houses, if not two houses. That's if you're freehold that is, somebody's gonna go and pay cash for that vehicle, hundred and twenty five thousand pounds. So to them it must be worth it and a person that's got that sort of money, he can't be a silly person to go and put down hundred and twenty five thousand pound cash. And most of us we're paying mortgage so we can't really talk can we? So the the car on there for two hundred and fifty thousand pounds and you'll see this one here will go for like hundred and twenty five thousand pounds. And it's not like um, somebody's not going to want that, you know, there's hundreds and hundreds of people who are going to want that, want to do a project, maybe even put, make a project from YouTube. So that myth that you have or a, con a misconception about um, can a salvage vehicle go back on the road, you shouldn't have that misconception because there's industries in the UK around the world that are making billions and billions of salvage vehicle in the insurance industry so all of these cars they sell every day hundreds and um, thousand cars in copart easily sell a day so that conception that you have can, um, can salvage cars go back on the road yes they can common misconception is can a salvage vehicle be repaired so this is a very good question the salvage industry itself have a few categories. Cat N. So a cat N would be it's non-structural. So when it means non-structural, it's got less damage. So if it's got structural damage, it means it's got more more severe damage. And yes, a uh, salvage uh, vehicle can be repaired, even if it's a structural damage. There's people out there who got jigs and machines and body shops around the world who have invested thousands and they make a good living from it, a very, very good living. And then you get the smaller ones like non-structural, where there's not even structural damage. So if there's no structural damage, you're fine with it. So with a structural damage, there's a bit more damage. However, it can be repaired. And I've, like I've showed you in the video, there's cars that have been sold and they've been repaired. So if you were going to do the project yourself like this one the structural damage here on this Range Rover it's got a bit more structure damage so that would mean the sachet is out but if can that be repaired of course it can be repaired it's just simple for somebody to take away this whole front end repair the, uh, the sachet the flitch leg and buy all the parts and put it back together so that misconception that you may have cars can it be repaired it can be repaired this one here is a structural non-structural damage and for somebody to do something like that a RS6 this is it's just a wing and a bit of repair down there but that misconception that myth can a salvage car be repaired yes it can be repaired and the ones that are cut S they're the ones that are the more severely damaged one and the ones that are cut ends they're the non-structural ones that got less damage but it's, it's not going into the structural damage so the salvage industry itself um, label of vehicle when it's been total lost if it's got salvage if it's got structural damage so it's already come pre-labeled so if you see a cut end cut ends are the ones that got non-structural damage that are a bit more easier to repair than the cat s's and you just follow these rules and you'd be fine but that misconception can a vehicle be repaired yes it can be repaired yes is it headache yes it is very final point about the salvage market and misconception people have a lot is it's got too much work and there's a lot of work to go into it and they fear. 
that's correct that a lot of work to go into it it's not so easy but if you're going to get a big discount over 40 percent 30 percent you want to be trying it if you've never tried it you don't want to be going in and trying off front end there's uh, too much work in that i'd fear for you everybody would so you don't want to go in and try to do something like that a front end that's not what you should be doing if you really wanted to try one there's like too much work in that i agree with you well where there's a lot of vehicle where there's not much work work at all like this vw golf r2015 it's been stolen and recovered it's if you look around it it's got not a scratch on the car it's just been stolen and it's been recovered and it's a dsg it runs it drives it's got the keys it's got 29,000 on the clock in comparison that's the estimated retail value so they probably go on ebay for about 16 grand if you could snap that up for about say 12 and a half grand how much work has there been i understand like there's a lot of work in the salvage industry yes that's correct you know if you get the wrong car it's a lot of work you could go and buy a street vehicle and there's still a lot of work a lot of maintenance and all sorts but what you want to be targeting is the cars that's been hit hit that's been had one previous owner one previous owners had it for so long and they've looked after it these are the sort of cars we target because copart sells like over a thousand cars daily and you know they, in the uk there's a lot of accidents and there's very good cars to be found now that misconception that you have there's a lot of work you should have that but there's a lot of work in life you just have to be smart about which cars to pick if you pick the wrong car yes there's problem i see there's people out there they got street vehicles and once they once they do a hpi check they find out it's a cut end or it might be something to do with arrogance and with the arrogance they think oh cut d cut n oh they don't they're you know they're shameful of it okay but a lot of cars are cut d's are cut and i know people who you know go around with their car but really it's a cut n and they don't, it's not like that the label on the vehicle is a cut d cut n i know a person as well and a few people i've done it myself i've gone i bought a car and i did the hpi check right at the end and it turned out to be a cut n i fell in love with the car i still ended up buying it but you know these things happen as well but to have fear you should do but if you pick the right car you shouldn't have that misconception you know you could pick the right car have the right information take my tips and you'll be you you're in for a winner and you want to do all of your research you want to prep everything learn about everything how much damage what parts you're going to need all sorts of stuff if you've had a bad experience previously it happens it's happened to me as well so sometimes because we've had a bad experience you may get put off from it however from my experience i've had many bad experiences in the salvage industry you could name them all i've probably had them however it's being smart and the experience and the tips and the knowledge if i knew all of this knowledge i wouldn't have not had those bad experiences but now the salvage industry is so big it's bigger than it was when it was 2002 so now we're in 2020 and there's so many salvage vehicles now you could you know if you've had a bad experience previously you shouldn't put, let that put you off and you could easily get little minor damage vehicles like this one it's a pure sale it's got what we got there a little wing damage possibly something on the suspension there but it's still run and drives and i could i can't see too much bad with a car like that can you get insurance on a written off vehicle in the uk they class them as cut s or cut n the cut s stands for structural damage and cut n stands for non-structural damage so the insurance companies themselves class these vehicles so can you get insurance after a vehicle's been repaired and comes through its mot so now somebody like andrew flux they specialize in cut s and cut n cars and you get a discount and also you get 
every single with it whatever you get with your normal insurance like protect your no claim discount agreed by you cover modification the european cover and owners club discounts and everything else if you go into s insurance there's a load of companies load of companies load of car insurance companies trying to sell you insurance every insurance company tries to sell it you now from my personal link experience um, when I started in 2002 I used to get more discount because the insurance sort of already paid it out and you'd um, get insurance straight away you'd call around and you get quotes around and them days in 2002 the good old days you would just call up give them your car reg like you would today and you know, all your details and everything quote some companies used to ask you is the car cat n or cat s um you tell them it's a cat s and the difference would be 30 40 pound and that's the same today i've got a friend who just insured a vehicle just recently and his insurance was the same premium he was paying for exactly the similar sort of car and he um also told them it was a cat s car at the time so there's no issue after you repaired the vehicle mot the vehicle you could get insurance there's no problem at all and the max um somebody's going to be charging you with insurance company is maximum about say uh, 100 pound difference if that but you can get car insurance that every company in there even if you go to go compare if you go to uh, any comparison websites the when you're filling out the forms there's an option is the car cat s cat n you could do the difference you could check for um, get pre coats and see the difference and there's not much difference in it as long as the car's been repaired and been MOT'd. thank you guys for watching my video about the common misconceptions people have about the salvage industry i hope some of those misconceptions have answered for you guys if there's any that i've not answered please leave a message below and i'll try and answer them for you but I've been honest, so I'm sorry if I was rude at times, but I was just trying to get the honest uh, point across to you guys. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll be bringing you more videos, tips on how to uh, bid for the right vehicles, being smart about it, giving you information, inside knowledge about my experience with the salvage industry uh, that I can pass on to you guys and you can make the right decision. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.